getting out there in the freezing cold water with about two other guys, uh, getting good waves and really braving the elements. It's, it's a rush and it's a lot of fun. I mean, anything that involves water and boats and paddles, I'm into it. Uh, I did uh, Ironman races a number of times back in the, uh, a few years ago, and then that spawned my interest for open water swimming. So some of my favorite things is to pick a point and pick an island and swim to it and deal with the elements that you get, the um, unknowns that you get when you're out there on the ocean. Water for me is my life force, it's my spirituality, um, it's my energy for sure. And um, every day that I can either see it, smell it, or be in it is a good day for me. And it's where I go when I need the most amount of energy or support. Um, the water is, is definitely the most powerful energy force in my life. When I was a little kid, I was super scared of what was on the ocean bottom. And I remember snorkeling one time with my dad in about three feet of water and I saw a crab and because of the, the, the mask I had on, it looked even bigger. And I remember jumping on his back and just freaking out. And then he pulled it up and it was about this big. Um, so I always have thought about what was in the water, but it was also something I wanted to get over with. So I pushed myself by challenging myself to, to go into new waters, deeper waters, but I'm always very uh, calculating uh, as to how I do so. Um, probably the biggest fear I have is when something touches me <laughs> randomly in the middle of a swim, such as seaweed, and I don't expect it. And sometimes I've felt uh, jellyfish, they're totally harmless, but you just feel them on your feet or on your hand and you have that moment of, what was that? Um, so I think the unknown can sometimes uh, still be scary out there, but it's, it's an adventure and that's why it's worth it.